You the person that kind of keeps shit like from like you know tilting over, but like you said, like niggas always know you know you're riding out with your team, but it's like how do? You, Cause I seen a post and it was like uh, y'all need to stop being friends with those that ain't got nothing to do with me type people and shit like that. How do you look at it like? Cause there's rappers that you work with, big rappers that come and tap in with you, but you know they'll still fuck with certain rappers that you know. M might not be aligned with y'all and stuff like that. How do you ever not let that shit get in the way, or how do you look at that type of shit? I don't look at shit who y'all fuck with, but at the same time, like, that shit, it depends, my nigga, because, like, if you talking about, like, niggas that don't deal with Yayo Slash, or they do, and they still dealing with them other people, mm -hmm. that's what the fuck they do, but all it all, it ain't got nothing to do with it, man. I got a lot to do with a lot of shit, my nigga, you know that, without me even having to say it. Mm -hmm. But that rah-rah shit ain't what a nigga finna put representing shit, nigga. It's yeah. gonna be like that or if you feel like you wanna make it like that, nigga, I'm everywhere. It ain't places that I'm not at. I'm seeing bitches, I'm seeing rappers, I'm seeing trappers, scammers, nigga. I like to see all that shit. I shop every motherfucking day. Yeah. So all I'm saying is like, fuck all of that. It ain't got nothing to do with it, nigga. It's just like, if that's what you want, that's what we on. But a nigga ain't out here looking for no bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you ever, do you ever, have you, has it ever been a problem where... I try to sometimes stay with my number one rule any motherfucking way. What's that? Don't get too personal with these rappers. I had that before I even had a motherfucking song. I was already having in my head, don't get too motherfucking personal. Yeah. And you know, some people get carried away and be like, bro, you did a song with that nigga, that's the one nigga I'm beefing with. This bro. This is not no personal shit. For lifers and all that shit, niggas be Okay, so niggas then be, you yeah. got niggas out here, bro, like, in a game right now. Once a nigga is on his wave slash machine slash politics, and what I mean by that, he might have a wave, or he might be the nigga that just got signed, or he might be the nigga that's buzzing, but at the time, everybody might be jumping on his songs or whatnot, and you'll be thinking he hot as hell, and really it's the machine that's working, or the label hitting up this rapper, that rapper, that rapper, or all that shit paid for when you think he just working. Yeah. It's all kind of weird shit like that, my nigga, so like, I ain't no motherfucking biggie. Just yeah. wait your turn, do your shit, when it's your turn, and don't be on the couch waiting on the nigga to give you a turn. Yeah. I'm gonna stay working till my shit come, I and mean, when it do come, it look like I was overdue. Yeah. Big facts. Has it ever been a thing where, like, something that I've heard from other people, like, when niggas come out of Texas, it's like niggas be feeling like they got, you know, pick sides, so that's how niggas, like, kind of stay away from, get steered away from tapping in with certain people. Has it has that ever been an issue where it's like niggas just feel like, man, if, we, if I lock in with them, um, Hey, believe it or not, my nigga, when you move around how you move around, some niggas be their own man. Some niggas take that to the heart all the way. Some niggas only go halfway with being their own man. And let's go with that following and leadership. Yeah. Man, but no bullshit. A lot of these niggas, bro, like, some of them don't be want to stand on their own, being their own. They want to just go with, oh, yeah, my homeboy them don't like you. It's where you find some of them niggas that be standing on that shit in front of their partners. Like, nigga, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them the ones that a nigga be like, nah, I fuck with that real genuine type of ass nigga. Like, yeah. If some of these niggas, I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga, I'm still seeing and them niggas was, it was 100 with them niggas, I don't care what the motherfucking shit was about. Yeah. Yeah, Houston niggas and all that shit, I'm seeing them niggas through all this shit, like, what, what's up, homie? Yeah, and we kicking it, spilling it, whatever you might want to call it. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like, to the world, though, like, this one time, <laughs> that nigga, uh, the Jeremy came down here and whatnot. We kicking it, sipping, uh -huh. We ain't taking no pictures and shit, but soon as that nigga kinda like left, and probably not even left, they even just got wind that he was here. They had made a big post like, they said Jeremy not supposed to be in the DLW, and he's in the DLW, and he's supposed to be banned. Somebody made a hell of a post or whatnot. Yeah. When really, you don't even know on the real side, nigga, or kicking it, chilling, sipping like a bitch, but nigga, y'all thinking a nigga supposed to be doing all this and that, and a nigga still did go on the internet posting up pictures and shit, but yeah. it's like politics and the politics that go all the way left if a nigga don't say nothing, and I ain't really going to too much say nothing. Yeah. Shit. And it kind of just carries its own life. Yeah. Man, I just... You know that 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 brings because actually I ain't gonna lie I did hear that once that like yeah j n niggas did like ch like chop it up or link up at some point like in the midst of everything that niggas thought was going on and shit like that back then. The best gamble in Texas, man. Here with motherfucking Sperry Springer, not Jerry Springer, literally, bitch. Literally. <laughs>